as-built modeler provides tools to extract cylinders. This can be done supervised and unsupervised. To generate cylinders, a best practice, as usual, is to have a project point cloud as well as a clipping box to reduce the data to a volume of interest. Go to the Modeling tab and select the Create Cylinder tool from the group to start the supervised extraction of cylinders. The parameters which are exposed on the sidebar are the scan data noise, the search radius, and a toggle for the automatic extension. The creation is easy. Place two picks in the point cloud. Here, the curvature is analyzed and the cylinder is placed. Due to the low scan data noise value, there is a high chance that the automatic extension fails. It is very sensitive and therefore the extension settings show little effect. If scan data noise is significantly increased, again place two picks. You will then see that the automatic extension is less sensitive and elongates the cylinder until other points are hit. Please note that search radius is not the equivalent of the cylinder diameter. Rather, it determines the area that is analyzed to extract the cylinder curvature. Therefore, it is recommended to click an unobstructed section of the cylinder. Use a picking radius which is much larger than the cylinder to obtain a result. Use a picking radius which is smaller than the cylinder to obtain a result as long as it can capture a curvature. The grip point editing, which works on lines, works the same way on the cylinders. Select grip point editing, select a cylinder, and the grip points appear. Again, click a grip point and drag it to elongate or shorten the cylinder along its axis. When the mouse cursor is dragged onto another element, the cylinder is snapped to the virtual intersection point. The Properties tool will expose information for a selected cylinder. It lists start and end point, the diameter, as well as the length. There is also the unsupervised extraction of cylinders. Go to the Modeling tab, the Cylinders group and select Detect Cylinders. This opens the side panel where analysis ranges can be specified. Be aware that the analysis will use all visible data points. So, the use of a clipping box is strongly advised to reduce the data to the volume of interest. The detection algorithm will try to detect all cylinders. To restrict the search, specify allowed ranges for diameter and length. Here, first increase the lower limit of the diameter range. Only allow pipes which have a diameter of at least 8 cm and a diameter smaller than 62 cm. Also, restrict the length range. Only allow cylinders which are at least 40 cm long and increase the upper limit to ensure long cylinders are not discarded. Please note that processing will take some time. Be economic on the volume of interest and size of the point cloud used by restricting it to a small clipping box. The result from the settings used only captured a few cylinders. To get more cylinders, increase the scan data noise value and lower the minimum length. Then start the operation again. The result shows more cylinders being detected, but notice there are a few false positives which need to be cleaned from the model. For this, please evaluate whether the unsupervised detection is useful for your purposes, as post-processing and collapsing cylinders needs to be performed.